What's up guys? On today's episode of the Daily BE, we are talking about how to fold a suit jacket for travel. So if you Google how to pack or fold a suit jacket or a sport coat for travel, whether it's on an airplane or any kind of situation where you're putting your suit jacket into a piece of luggage, you'll find a whole bunch of different opinions, uh, kind of ra ranging from very, very basic, where if you have a checked luggage, in a much larger suitcase, you just take your, uh, your suit oftentimes on the hanger and then you just fold it in half, more or less, and put the whole thing in there. That's the easiest. But for most of us, we're traveling uh, via air and we want to bring everything carry-on. And so that means a much, much smaller bag. And it also means the chance for a lot of it being compressed in the overhead compartment with different bags squishing up against it and this and that. But the takeaway is that you have a much smaller piece of luggage to work with. And so in that case, usually simply uh, folding your suit jacket um, just in half from the top to the bottom is not going to be enough. You have to go smaller. Now, over the years, I've tried a handful of different things. And I've kind of learned that, uh, and again, my opinion, but a lot of this really depends on the type of cloth, the type of fabric that you have in your suit. So a lot of really good fabrics, you can take them and you can, and this can work with, if you have just like a swatch book, if you're buying a suit from a, a custom clothier or if you're out shopping, uh, even a completed suit, if you take a handful of uh, a cloth and just like grab it and make a fist and then let it go, there shouldn't be a lot of wrinkles that really show up. If there are, that cloth is usually going to be kind of a lower quality. And of course, you can imagine that if you travel and you pack this thing, it's going to be really wrinkled on the other end. Now, that being said, some very, very fine fabrics, uh, very fine woolens in particular, uh, they can be great for short term, like that, that little trick, but when they're packaged, they can still be uh, kind of wrinkled. And that's the worst thing possible, right? When you get to your business meeting or to the wedding you're attending or whatever it may be, you open up your suitcase, take your stuff out and find a very wrinkled suit. And it's always that uh, fear that is it going to be de-wrinkled in time for your event? in time for that big meeting, whatever it may be. And the answer is usually yes. There's things you can do when you get to where you're going. For instance, the classic example is to steam it uh, or, or steam it in the, uh, the bathroom. Uh, put the, when you're taking a shower, just put your suit jacket on a hanger inside the bathroom, close the door, let it get really humid in there. And it's kind of a, um, uh, a clever way to more or less steam your jacket. But the best thing is to hang it up overnight and just let it kind of do its thing. Gravity will usually take control and most of the wrinkles you'll find will come out. But what if you want to pack it and mitigate or minimize whatever wrinkles might be created? As I said, it kind of depends on the cloth and we all have a different opinion on how to best pack our suits. I've uh, tried most of the different techniques out there and there are some very complicated ones where you're kind of um, really folding your, your suit jacket inside out and then rolling it up in a creative way. And I've heard good things from different people that have tried that, but for me, it's never really been um, a good ROI. I tend to kind of lose patience when I'm packing and, and trying to do it perfectly. And I'll get to the point where everything's you know, going just great. And then I realize that, okay, it's all going in this bag and I just get frustrated and kind of throw it in there. I think a lot of us are that way. So what I do that tends to work the best is first and foremost, I never check my suit jacket in check baggage. It's always coming on the plane with me and I tend to wear my suit up until the point of boarding and then I take it off. And if you have your suit jacket like, like so, first thing I do is just fold it nice and gently shoulder to shoulder. And then I'm just going to take a hand and kind of more or less cut it in half like this. So that's really all I've done and it's not going to look perfect. It's going to feel a little like you didn't do too much. But that's okay because the whole thing here is to be very gentle and kind of minimize the folding that you do. And then I usually put it just on top of whatever bag I have. And I, I usually, well, I always have a soft shell uh, canvas bag. I don't have something that's a hard shell bag that, or a piece of luggage that's going to require oftentimes a lot of compression. And the worst thing you want to do is to squeeze your suit coat into something that it can barely fit in. 
So my soft uh, canvas bag is a great option for um, putting a suit is when I put it on top of everything else that's already in there. It's not being compressed too much. However, if I put it in the overhead compartment and someone comes along and puts something on top of my bag, I'm kind of screwed at that point. I mean, it's going to be wrinkled. Or if they put something against it and just really squeezes it and pushes it against the side of the uh, internal compartment and it's a long flight, I'm going to be in trouble too. Fact of the matter is, anytime that you are compressing your suit for an extended period of time, it's going to wrinkle a bit. But the best thing that I've learned is that very simple folding method. And the key thing, if you notice, so before I folded it in half like this again, and I'll show you one more time, I just went shoulder to shoulder, and that point where I'm kind of cutting it in half is actually right at the base of the lapel. So that's pretty important because the lapel you see is roughly about here. And so when I fold shoulder to shoulder and then kind of fold it in half, the whole intention is that you're not folding that lapel on itself. And so if I were to do that, to give an example, you know, it's gonna be much higher. So if I were to fold it like up here and go into thirds or something, what's gonna happen is your, your lapel, which often has that canvas material inside of it and it helps give it rigidity and that great shape that we like, that's going to be wrinkled. And that in particular is really tough to get wrinkles out of. It's gonna take a lot longer in my experience than just one um, night or one um, you know, steaming in the bathroom when you're taking a shower. So try and avoid that. So again, my uh, proposed method, give this a try. Let me know what you guys think. Shoulder to shoulder, and then just fold it in half, and then as gently as you can, place it on top of whatever you got, and try not to compress it from the sides or from the top specifically. And then as soon as you land and get where you're going, open your bag once you get off the gate, and put it back on, let those wrinkles start working themselves out. So that's my uh, suggested method to, help to pack your suit or your sport coat or your blazer and help it look as good as it can when you are traveling on an airplane or in any case you have a small piece of luggage you're working with. Uh, what's your technique? Do you have something that you go by? Is there a, a link you can provide or something that's worked really well for you that, you tr that you've tried and you've actually practiced and found to be a really good result? I'd love to hear about it. Let's get the conversation going, guys. And as always, really appreciate the attention. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We have a lot of videos coming, and before you know it, we'll be on episode 200. All right, everyone, thanks for your attention, and we'll see you soon.